Well, it would normally be the traditional start to the D.C. tourism season, but to stay safe this year, the National Cherry Blossom Festival is mostly online. But still a lot of ways to celebrate this tradition without heading over to the Tidal Basin. WCNI's Nicole D'Antonio is live in Southeast D.C. on details uh, with details on what's in store. Nicole, good morning to you. Hey, Marcella, good morning. You know I grew up in this area, and this is such a popular time of year. This is why, right? The Cherry Blossom Festivals, as you said, it's going to be a little bit different. There's going to be, um, you know, half virtual, half in person, but these beautiful statues that are popping up all across the city. And I want to introduce you to the man behind this beautiful work of art. This is Alec Gostier. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration behind this piece, because you were one of just 26 artists chosen. Yeah, Nicole. Well, this is um, this was a pretty unique project. Uh, it's actually called Art and Bloom, and it's a uh, production of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Um, you know, I've, I've been doing circles for quite a long time. Um, I was inspired by some of the artists that I like, uh, Kusama, um, Thomas Downing, and I just kind of brought my own element to this uh, to this creation and for my submission for this project. Well, you mentioned what it looks like. I just want to get a close-up picture of this. How on earth did you do this? Because you said it was not necessarily paint, but your own personal touch on it. Right. So my normal process for sort of wall paintings was 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 kind of hindered by, by the curves of this. Um, I actually had to use some tape and different different techniques to put the circles on. Um, but as you can see, it, it, it came out all right, and the layers uh, the layers really showed through. So yeah. I was happy with it. Alex, we have some video of you know the different artists working on these pieces. When you found out you were chosen, this is a big deal because you're from this area. You visited the cherry blossoms when you were yeah, younger. Exactly. Now to be a part of this city's history, to be able to put this together, what was that like? Um, it's just a really great opportunity. I was so happy to be accepted. Um, I think this project in its entirety is going to be really great for the DC yeah. arts community. Um, I love that my piece is here in, in Anacostia and I get to represent this area. Um, and I had a really great time with all 25 of the other artists who, uh, I mean, this was, a, this was an amazing project and yeah. it was very well curated. So I hope everyone gets to get out there and see it. And you said you had two weeks, right? By the time you were selected, when you actually sat down and started working <laughs> on this, two weeks to get it done. I had a little over two weeks. Okay. Um, I, personally, based on my own doing, I was out of town, but I, uh, I, I got through it. <laughs> so, um, you know, couple some, all some... nighters, just a couple all nighters. Exactly. <laughs> well, Alex, thank you so much and congratulations on this beautiful piece. Marcella, uh, 26 pieces all across the District of Columbia. So you can find one, take a picture, send it to the city, and you even have a chance to win a gift card. So it's a win-win it's a there. Absolutely, and they are so beautiful, Nicole. Thank you so much.